Ugh. I know I have a good idea. Wow. Anyway, let's keep moving. Wait a second. Wait a second. If we look at all of these, see how it says Sam Wise at the bottom? CF Dangerfield? But if we look at the quest for Monkey, or the Monkey Island one, hold on. I'm pretty sure it actually said... Maybe, maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't. Oh man, I don't remember where it was. I thought it was down here somewhere. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you can you not read them again, maybe? I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Yeah, maybe we can't read them again. It was it was by Ron Gilbert, wasn't it? I passed it twice, did I really? Where it where is it? Is it my inventory? Curse of the Dragon, Siege, Quest, Middlemore, Heroes Me, Emotionless Man. No, I don't think I'm passing it. It was right over here somewhere, though. Anyway. Second shelf up from the bottom of the first set. On the first shelf. Up here? The second shelf would be down here, huh? I don't know, dude. Weird. Weird. Oh well, whatever. Am I, I'm probably just missing it. It was the true secret of Monkey Island. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. But yeah, I'm pretty. It, all all I wanted to check is that it said Ron Gilbert at the bottom, and it sounds like it did, which is pretty hilarious. Check inventory? No, we didn't pick it up. It's okay. Whatever. It's turned off. Hmm. <laughs> Walked a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Uh, is there anything we could use for ink? Pick up old batteries? I'm picking up all the things. Get the poopsie, get the cheese. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those mucus phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Nice. I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Wow! Damn. Unexpected. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't feel like the taste for non-trademark infringing poopsie now. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. I think I'll just be careful with them. So this is going to be able to create fire somewhere if we need to burn something. Still impressive. I can't use the bottle with that. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't want to whip anything with this. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. I don't want to use it with that. 
I don't want to use it with that. Hmm. Pretty clean. Consider there's nothing. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. It doesn't work with that. It doesn't work with that. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Still impressive. It doesn't work with that. Okay. It doesn't work with that. A big part of these games is just kind of figuring out what you do with everything that you're using. So I'm I'm just the kind of testing things right very now. Very clean. Just Ugh. let us burn. I'm definitely no. not. Do we have anything burnable? Soggy lettuce. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. The fireplace looks very clean. So once we get some wood or something, we could do this. And I bet that would light the fire. But we need something burnable. Still impressive. And we don't have anything burnable yet. Let's go get that damn magazine. <laughs> I don't want to open it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Is that a day in the Maybe tentacle? more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Love it. Ooh. Here we go. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG-1982 tube puller. It's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. Postman comes once a day. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Well, okay, we're... Let's look at the magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Game programmer stuff. Apply today. Use your computer to connect to Mucus Phlegm to apply. Okay. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Dial in with modem and fill out mucus phlegm job application. Mail filled out job application. Get a job. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. What's up? Who are you? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again. All the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. I don't want to whip anything with oh. this. Okay, that was Diggin'. weird. All right, let's go. Let's go put a fire in the fireplace and light it and see if that does anything. Dig it. <laughs> Whatever that guy was doing. Diggin', Doug. This log should burn really well now. Whoa! I actually set it on fire with my breath! Nice warm fire. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't know how to use the fireplace with that. So we've got fire. I actually set it on fire. Nice warm fire. And then hot fireplace. Um. I don't want to use it with that. Is there anything we want to heat up? 
I don't think there's anything we really want to heat up right now. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Hmm. Let's go up and use a computer. Maybe maybe that'll give us a good idea about what we're doing next. Do I remember playing Sam and Max? Oh, for sure, dude. Oh, God. Which room's ours? Oh, Jesus. Oh, is it is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, good. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Oh, Jesus. Thank you. What is your address? Oh, God, really? I... I don't know. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Is it the door? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my... It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3000. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. I should stick up for myself. I'd better hold on to this. The sign says the sign says it's out of order. Wait, what? How do we get up higher? I'm sorry, Dolores had to witness that. Uh No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Okay. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man with robots on his mind even then. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great grandfather, Edmund Edmund who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. Oh my lord. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Uh.
When the screen scrolls, it moves by eight pixels. Okay. Wait, I can't pick it up? Better let me bring that with me. Thimbleweed 64, is that what it said? Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Oh, well, no, we'll do this first. Okay. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a... Please answer the follow- You must get first qu- When the school Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? It'd be better to, I need to s MFL. Please answer. You must first when this. Next quest. What? Next quest. What are room backgrounds compressed? It'd be better to. I need Character sets. Please, you must for when this. Net what? Net what are? Next question: How many parameters can functions take? If I need a eight. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore. Please answer the following. You must get all of the first By the way, a wall of GG's for the chat and a token for that awesome sing-along. Good job, guys. Uh, eight pixels. Net what? MFL. What are character sets? Net eight. eight. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Awesome. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, the Printron 3000's printer ribbon isn't installed. Okay, so next up for us is figuring out how to get ink onto the dry printer. I can't re-ink the ribbon with an empty bottle of printer ink. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 in attending a summer program at Ricky Lee's famous Thimbleberry Pie. Hot. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Hmm. The glass is now filled with chainsaw gas. That seems like a terrible idea. Why did I do that? What would I do with a glass of... I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. I poured some of that gas into the bottle. There's just gas in the ink bottle, not ink. Gas. I don't. It's a bottle for printer ribbon ink. I can't use the bottle with that. I can't use the bottle with that. I can't use the bottle with that. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Hmm. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla Lurleen. Stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Open Lurleen. Are you kidding? I don't want to see her stuffing. Oh, Lurleen. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Oh, Lurleen. It's a glass filled with chainsaw gas. Oh, let's go deliver the letter. I can't use the bottle with that. Let's do that first. Maybe, maybe, 
will do something or be able to do something in there. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained bark. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Mm hmm. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I really want to get a job as a game designer. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I like it. Hello. My dream is to be a game programmer, not run the pillow factory. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the. Hello, my. Fa Thanks for chatting. Thanks for chatting. Why don't you practice your ASCII conversion? All my trons rely on it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. It's turned on. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough. We got to get him out of here that, somehow. Sierra online. It doesn't work in that. Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's behind it after you've taken over the pillow factory. Oh. Uh. Hmm. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales. Looks good enough for a snack. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. Hmm. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. So when we turn this light off... It's turned on. Dolores. Something is you know blinking behind that Please turn picture. the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Can we give him anything? Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know. Look, Uncle Chuck, your favorite. A freshly baked thimbleberry pie from the pie shop. Why, thank you, Dolores. You know me and my love for thimbleberry pie well. I'll eat this as soon as I finish this little project. Okay. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores. Hmm. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores. This was Uncle Chuck's. I don't want to give it away. Um. It doesn't work in that. 
It says out of order. That doesn't seem to work. I feel like we need to we may need to open this letter somehow. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Okay. Can we maybe use it on the fire? Also, maybe we can do something in the microwave now? Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a oh. warning. You oh. might breathe fire. Oh. Maybe I should... Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The glass is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There we go. Um... Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front. <laughs> He's so tiny. He's so teensy tiny. I already got enough firewood. Oh, okay. So, well, there goes my idea with a fire. Because apparently I can't put more wood on there. And I can't, I can't set this on fire again, can I? No, I probably can't. Anything else in here before we go up? We've got a microwave we can use, but... I've already inked the printer ribbon. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back down. Yay! I answered all the <laughs> Miss Chaotica, really? I'm ready That's to awesome. The application. <laughs> oh. I always like to watch this part. Damn, dude. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. Mm. The envelope is addressed. Just needs a stamp. I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. Maybe we can microwave the letter? That seems a little bit weird, but... Maybe? <laughs> okay. Ouch! The letter's hot, but I need steam to get the stamps off. The glass is now filled with water. I don't want to pick that up. Yeah, there we go. My letter to Mucus Flem is now stamped and ready to... Let's do it, boys. Dig in! How exciting. I hope I get the job. <laughs> Hiya, Dolores. <laughs> I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Dig in! Dig it! <laughs> Get him, Doug. I think I want to open this in my room. Just in case it's really bad news. Yeah, I left the faucet running for five days. Oh well. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. 